I have an old window and I wanted to give it an update. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking some white chalk paint. Um, honestly, I don't remember the brand. It might be Waverly. I'm not quite sure. And then I'm going to stamp this in each corner of the window. And what you want to do with stamps, because they're so slippery on the glass, you want to just lightly pat down, and then when you're done, pull straight up. You don't want to move it around, and then it'll make your um, design disfigured. If you do make a mistake, the one good thing about it is, is just use some either soap and water in a rag to wipe down the mistake that you made with the chalk paint or um, any type of window cleaner. I do normally use chalk paint on glass because it just dries so much quicker and I can move on to my next step. And you'll also see there's some black a black line and then a plus sign in the center of the window what I did prior was I measured where the center of the window is for you'll see the next stamp I'm going to use I wanted to know where the center was that's on the opposite side of the window so then I just go with um, a rag and some water and wipe it right off and then this is also a stamp that I received um, that I used from iron um, IOD designs and I'll list that one below too. And then I'm pulling straight up. This one was birds and vines and some flowers. And then there was a couple spots on the branches that weren't very visible like I wanted them to, so I just went back over and re-stamped in those areas. And what I would suggest is, as soon as you are done using your stamps and they have that paint on them, wash them right away because it, otherwise it does take quite a bit of scrubbing to get that off. And then I'm just taking some burlap I picked up at Joanne's Fabrics. It was on sale was three dollars a yard and I'm just putting that on the side that I painted or put the stamps on with the chalk paint and also um, I don't show this part but after I do cut all the extra burlap excess burlap off I do go over and use my hot glue gun I just want to make sure those seams are all sealed with that hot glue paint because you know with burlap it will run so I didn't want to go through all this work and then it's running spots I noticed that I needed more staples to hold it. Now I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to get my paint ready and I'm using Heirloom Traditions all-in-one paint in the color Manor House. It's a off-white cream type of color and I'm just going to paint the entire frame and as a reminder, clean your product first, really good, whatever you're going to paint. This one window was pretty dingy. It had seen a lot of years of dirt, so I did have to scrub it quite a bit. And then I don't tape off my glass. I just paint around, and if I get any on the glass, I either use a razor blade to scrape it once it's dried or keep a wet rag. That way, you, as you do it, you can just go back and just wipe it right off right away. And it's so fitting. You can hear the birds singing, chirping behind me. I was out on my porch. It was so nice this day that I did the video. So what I 
was doing was listening to the birds behind me. I have a really cute little birdhouse and they built a nest in there. So I'm going to be seeing some babies soon. Now what I'm doing is I took water and I put it on a rag and I let it, I try to let it sit in some areas where I want to pull up the paint. This is what I do instead of sanding it. Um, if the paint is still in its green stage, you know, it's not completely fully dry, this will take place of sanding. Then that way I don't have to get my sander out. I don't have to worry about dust all over, sanding dust, anything like that. I just use the wet rag to what I call wet distressing and just pull it back until I see the amount of wood below I want shown. If it's a larger piece, I don't normally wet distress. I will get my sander out and sand it. But this wasn't that big of a window and I thought I'm just going to wet distress it so I don't have to worry about coming back with the sander. And I always, when I distress, I always think of the areas that are going to get, that would have been used, you know, or moving the picture around. Say you move from this home to that home, or you took it from this wall to that wall. You know, you're going to have areas where it's worn more. So usually the edges are where I try to show my wood coming through to show that it's been worn out. And I'm sorry if you can hear my neighbors in the background. It was a nice day. Everybody was outside, so they were all playing. And then what I also did then on the top is I did um, drill two holes in and put two hooks on, one on each corner, so that way it can be hung. But I really did enjoy doing this. This one, this one turned out really nice, I think. Um, and I'm happy with it. I think I'm going to give it to my neighbor as a gift. And here is the finished product. Nice way to redo an old window. If you like this, please subscribe and hit the like button as I try to grow my channel and show you easy ways to decorate your house at little to no cost. Thanks for watching.